Now part B, solve cotan inverse equals 1.3, 2, 2, 2 equals alpha for all angles between 0 and 360. Now first of all, I think this is a misprint, because uh, we're looking for angles, and uh, I think it's a misprint anyway. I think it should just be something like uh, cotan without the inverse, right? Cotan equals 1.3. 222 and this bit over here now I got this from the back of the exam sheet and you see cotan cotan there equals 1 over tan x right so if this is the case we can just replace cotan with 1 over tan some angle x or theta 1 over tan theta equals 1.3222 now that's the same as saying over 1 so we can flip the two of them and we can say tan theta over 1 equals 1 over 1.3222. And then we can get theta by getting the tan inverse. Right, one second now. Tan inverse of this fraction. So bang that into the calculator. And the tan inverse of that. I have it written down here somewhere. I get 37, 37.105 degrees, right, and this here is what's called our base angle. So that's a base angle, and if you get tan, if you, if you cotan that, if you get tan, that'll give you a cotan, that angle will give you a cotan of 1.3222. So if you got if you get one over the tan of it, you should get one point three two two two. So similar, let's say we'll go for red here, right? Uh, this is a handy thing to know here. Cast C A S and T. So tan is positive uh, here, where every, all the three trig. Identities are positive, sine, cos, and tan, and tan is also positive in this area, right? So it's 0, 90, uh, 180, and 370. No, sorry, 270. I'm back to 360 here. So we have an angle here, uh, 37, and then we have to get another angle down here, which is going to be 180 plus the 37. So theta 2 equals 180 plus our base angle of 37.105 and that will give us 217 I think 0 0.1005 degrees. Both of these angles will give you a cotan of 1.3222 so if we test this one for example and we get 1 over the tan of that. 1 over the tan of that is equal to the cotan. So 1 over the tan of this angle. So you could use your fraction key and go 1 over and type in tan 217.1005. Close the bracket. Press equals. And I get 1.3222. So that seems to work out. Right, so these are both answers to satisfy this condition up here if we ignore this minus 1 altogether, right? I think that shouldn't be there, but maybe I'm wrong.